Hey guys, welcome to the wrap up video. I just cleaned what I found uh, this morning. Just want to show everybody um, the killer shards that you know. Wish you could have because they're so awesome. But just to find them is just a you know treasure. So uh, that's an early one there. I don't know if that said South Reading on it or something. That's a nice looking bottle. Well, piece of a bottle. They're all pieces, just about. Um, but just look at the beautiful colors, you know. Man. Good stuff. Had a, had a blast digging this stuff up this morning, even though it was mostly broken. I mean, just the colors and the age of this stuff. You just don't dig this stuff every day. This was like a JR, this is JR Nicholson, Nichols and Company. I don't know, I'll have to look that up. This is another beautiful color. Uh, I don't know, something wood and company. Let's check that one out too. This must have been like a doc, Dr. Harrison's. I don't know. That that goes together. Those did fit, you know, um, together. So that, that is one bottle. Um, this was, a, I believe, a Richardson's Bitters. Nice open panel. Would have been a nice one to have. There's a nice uh, iron panel. Another open panel. Open panto. Nice one. Would have been a, looks like a nice flask. Another open panel, open pontled uh, elixir of opium, McMunn's. I know that one because I have one of those inside. Another nice open pontal. Some older beers or whatever. Nice Saratoga bottle. This would have been a nice flask. Nice color, awesome. I love all the bubbles in it beautiful. It's kind of cool. It's almost like a donut top. Nice early bottle. Whatever that was. This was a Demijohn. Nice open pontal. Look at how crude the top is on this thing. It's unreal. You know that's some early glass and this one would have been a killer bottle as well. I'll have to look this up too out of Troy, New York. See that does fit in there like that. Troy, New York. Awesome color. And this bottle I found inside of a uh, cast iron bucket. Um, it's a Kidder. It, this goes together, you can see. Kidder. See, that goes together like that. I'll probably try to put that back together. I'll glue what I can back together later, but there's the top to it. And these are the other two pieces that I have for it. Well, this is the, the whole stuff. This was that one whole one that I found uh, that you guys saw. It's actually a nice early H. Ricketts Bristol or Glassworks out of Bristol. It's a English piece, I guess, but it's early. Um, it could be as early as the 1850s, 1840, all the way up to, I guess, like 1860s, I don't know. But it does say patent on the, on the, on the shoulder. It's really hard to read it. And some other more common stuff from, you know, the later uh, 1800s right into early 1900s. Nice little blacking pot there. Just amber, some slicks, but you know, Sawyer's is an earlier Sawyer's, a Sloan's is an earlier one. Common bottle, but that's a, that's a good one. This is that mystery piece, I didn't know what it was. If anybody knows what this is, they can fill me in, but kind of cool. 
little flask. And uh, this is a, a dose cap for a Wythe med bottle and an old rusted teapot. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for checking out my video here. And uh, wish everybody luck in their digs and their future explorations. Thanks for watching again, and uh, live free die. Time to have a burger. Over.